And we are live here, and this is TNA Impact. What the we hell? Josh Alexander and Hammerstone, a wild brawl here in the Impact Zone as we're coming on the air. Oh, oh my God. God. Hammerstone assaulting Josh Alexander from behind. The fallout from their match at Sacrifice continues tonight. And this thing is getting to another oh. level. Good well, God. Hammerstone's back up. Hammerstone's back up. Launching Josh Alexander. But Alexander's back up. And this is how relentless this has become between Hammerstone and Alexander. Pummeling away on each other in the center of the ring, and now more security flooding the ring. An attempt to at least gain some kind of control. And Hammerstone trying to get to Alexander, who's busted open, and the security trying to separate these two. situation more than boiling over here. And again, the security is trying desperately to separate these two. Alexander is all over the place. Look out. Oh my God, Alexander over the top. The walking weapon is incensed here. And now Alexander's so quiet to get to Hammerstone. Security trying to restrain Alexander. Security's been thrown left, right, and center. Guys, Hammerstone guys, 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 is taking the ring here. Uh, Hammerstone. Hold up. Wait a minute. Tommy Dreamer is here inside the 2300 Arena. He's trying to calm down Josh Alexander. Alexander, Alexander wanted to show respect to Tommy Dreamer, what Dreamer had to say to Hammerstone. It seemed like it had resonated with Hammerstone, but it was all a facade. And once again, Hammerstone getting out of Dodge, trying to get into the head of the walking weapon. Hammerstone! You're not gonna listen to Tommy. You're not gonna listen to anybody else. I know sure as hell I'll waste my words trying to talk you out of this stuff. But I'm gonna make you understand at Rebellion because we're gonna finish this once and for all. And we're gonna finish it right in a last man standing match. Oh, and a forearm shot by Laredo Kid. This. Oh! The Michinoku driver in the corner. And an opportunity here for Laredo Kid against the champion. Here we go. Start with these moonsaults. There's one. Likes to climb the ropes. There's two. Oh. Chant for Uno Mas. One more. Going all the way to the top. Going for the third, and Crazy Steve, oh, takes out the footing of Laredo Kid. And Laredo Kid, oh my, he seemed like he hesitated even, even just a second oh. more than he usually would. Normally, it's hop right to the top rope for that third moon zone. But again, maybe some doubt creeping in. Maybe Crazy Steve. Oh. Maybe Crazy Steve creeping in. A cannonball right to the midsection. Here's the cover. Oh, and the shoulder up in time for Laredo Kid. But despite all of that, Laredo Kid is staying in this match all the way, despite all the punishment here from Crazy Steve. Oh, Crazy Steve has turned away the likes of Tommy Dreamer, Rhino, Joe Hendry, PCO, all sorts of asterisks next to every one of those defenses, of course. But he finds a way to retain. A win is a win as he turns his attention here to the knees, now to the neck. 
not going not going for the next oh, snap. Oh, wait, wait, going to the mask. Oh, going wait. back to the mask like you did earlier on in the matchup. Trying to rip the mask off the head of Laredo Kid. He's been relentless about this mask. Oh! oh. Open palm strike by Laredo Kid. And now Laredo Kid is ticked off. He's focused. He has had enough of this. Just unreal, unrelenting. He strikes up. And you can see how the mask underneath the chin got unhooked there, and Reno Kid got to listen to the official here. Oh, Ooh. he just shoved the official. Reno Kid going too far. Reno Kid is unhinged. He's lost it. Reno Kid lost his cool. Crazy Steve was going after the mask, and Laredo Kid snapped. Was this the plan of Crazy Steve all along? To crawl under the skin, but look out! Oh, wait a minute. Have to attack him with the belt. Oh, now Laredo Kid has the digital media title belt threatening Crazy Steve. The match has ended. Crazy Steve is going to retain via disqualification. But Laredo Kid, with the support of the fans here in Philadelphia, he wants that TNA Digital Media Championship. And now the double team is in. Look out! Oh, the kick and the neck breaker. Austin is legal. France is trying to run interference. France is making the save for Rich Swan here. And now looking for another. Double duty suplex here. Oh, look at the power! Down goes Bay. Austin able to escape. Austin midair there, able to turn things around. Bay tried his best, back to their feet at least. Oh, the ABC, both of them connect with Francis. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The ABC. And now Bay over the top, down goes Francis. And now it's down to Ace Austin and Rich Swan in the ring. Back inside the ring, Austin's call for Bay. They want the one, two, sweet on Swan. Looking for the setup here, looking for the wall. No! Oh, he wanted the art of finesse, hit with a neck breaker by Swan. Francis slows up Austin. Look out, look out. A handful of tights, first class. Rich Swan, two weeks ago, I wanted to give you the opportunity to explain why you aligned with A.J. Francis. But instead, you came out here and you said something to the effect of this. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, in the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out max and relaxing all cool. I was shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started causing trouble in my neighborhood. I had a fight with Joe Hendry and the world stood still. So now I've teamed up with Fat Uncle Phil. <laughs> I know you both have a busy schedule of discussing thick thighs, but let me add one more thing to the schedule. Cause I talked to Santino and Rich Swan at Rebellion. It's gonna be you one on one with Joe Hendry. Hendry. Swan. 
Palms in Las Vegas at Rebellion. I wear so many hats because I pride myself on outworking everyone. And I know for a fact that at Rebellion, I'm gonna work harder than you. I'm going to retain my title. And I'm going to continue to cement my legacy here at TNA. And you know how I know that? I know that because I've already beaten you. And I've beaten your boyfriend. As a matter of fact, I've even beaten your boyfriend's wife. I am more than happy to do that again. Because I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Don't you dare call her that! I wasn't talking to her, bitch. Official, the contract. Oh. It's signed, but we might not be done here. Oh! oh. And Cartona's involvement. Dying to take that title. Delander. Oh, and Grace. Oh, going at it here. By Grace over the table. Grace is all over Steph Delander. And look, Cartona's back in the fray here. He was insulted oh. by Jordan Grace. Too. And Santana Morello. Wait a minute, oh my god, look at this! Step to Lander! Oh! Huge back fist, and now Jordan Grace. Oh, and yeah, Matt Cardona attacking Jordan Grace from behind. Oh my god, and Jordan Grace choke slam through the table by SDL! What a statement, courtesy of Matt Cardona and Steph Delander ahead of the Knockouts World Championship match at Rebellion. Is this the future of the TNA Knockouts World Championship? Did he topple another mountain in his career here with a win over the world champion? And now Seven trying to set up Moose and Eddie Edwards. Oh, barking at Seven Bailey, backing up his tag team partner. I think Trent Seven may have wanted the Birmingham Hammer. But just, oh. oh. Moose went for Hiranagi. Oh. Come here. Put it back and forth yeah. here. Going for the Seven Star. Larry at all, it's blocked by Moose. Oh, oh my God. Skull to skull collision. See the way Seven crumpled after that headbutt. Moose, you don't deserve to be in this ring with me. Oh, pop and bang. Seven trying to surprise the champ. Seven star Lariat. Is that it? Moose is down. Moose is down on a kick out at two. Moose was trying to literally send, shout a message right through Trent Seven. Seven responds with a huge salvo, but not enough to put Moose away. That message intended for Nick Nemeth has got to be learning something right now. You're going to take some heavy shots from Moose, but he got to keep moving forward. Is it time now for the Birmingham Hammer? Now Moose finds a way out yet again. Uh-oh. It's spear by Moose. Game over. Cover. That is why Moose is the TNA World Champion. Here is your winner, Moose. 
There is no doubt about it. Moose is more dangerous. Moose is more powerful. Moose is more confident than he's ever been before. I hope Nick Nemeth is ready. I hope Speedball Mountain is ready for the system at Rebellion. Oh, wait a minute now, Bailey. Ba Bailey's left on his own here. I surrounded don't... by the system. I don't like them odds, Tom. Oh, now Bailey, Bailey wants to fight. He's outnumbered. I understand this, his thought process, but hey. still, the system swarming Bailey. That's, to me, Bailey struck first. Perhaps the thought of a preemptive strike, but wait, wait, hold up, hold up. There's Kushida. Kushida into the ring. Oh my God! And the rest of Time Machine, Shelly and Saban, the Motor City Machine Guns. Trying to even the odds here. We know they've had their fair share of dealings with the system. Time Machine backing up Speedball Mountain. The system continue to gain more enemies on their road to rebellion. For the GYV, and quite frankly, for Mustafa Ali as we head towards rebellion. Oh, now checking on the digits there, the referee. Oh, oh distracted by Drake, and again, the scarf coming into play. Much like the GYV did to Cody Deaner recently on Impact. Seen that a few times. Oh, speaking of Deaner, oh, what the hell? Oh, Deaner's out here. Deaner just drops out Gibson. Oh, wait, did the people tell him to do that, Tom? Oh, and Drake something, leaping at James Drake. A common enemy for Deaner and Drake something. One, five, three, three. Oh my God, into the void! Rip Drake off of the canvas and sent him into oblivion! Here's your winner, Jake Something! Hey, no, 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 hey! What do you mean hey, you can't do that? Stop the music, stop you can't. the music! Thank you! No, Jake Something, you do not belong in the X Division! The X Division needs limits. And you, Jake Something, you are outside of those limits. He's outside of those limits. We don't want Jake. Say no to Jake. 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 Oh my God. No to Jake. Oh my God. Jake. Oh. Something levels everybody. You can't do that. Oh, I'm not again. No, Jake. No, no, no. Something's got a hold of Mustafa Ali. Unprovoked, unprovoked aggression on the part of Jake. Something. All right, now Ali in front of attack with a title belt. Jake Something's got a hold of Ali. Jake Something trying to destroy the X Division champion. On oh, a grizzled young fans backing up Ali. Grit your teeth. All right, now Cody Deaner getting involved. Oh, I didn't hear anybody tell him to do that one either. Oh, and Ali blasts him from behind with the X Division title belt. A little bit, a modicum of justice restored here thanks to our X Division champion. And now Gibson and Drake setting up Jake something. Meet your limit, Jake something. Inside the skull, inside the head, whatever is in PCO's body. Oh, now PCO, look at the way that he's arranging the ladders here at ringside. Creating some kind of apparatus here. Plenty of platforms for pain out here, courtesy of PCO and Khan. And Khan is back up to his feet. He's gone through two tables now. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, oh no. no, and Khan, Khan laid out over that ladder between the ring and the standing ladder. The, the table wasn't enough. Oh, now PCO's climbing. Oh, Khan, Khan's slowing up PCO. Oh, dear God. No, 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 no. no, no, no. of the ladder. What is it gonna take? Khan has tossed PCO back inside the ring and oh dear God. The little black bag. It only means one thing. And that's pain. Thumbtacks littering the ring here inside the 2300 arena. Oh, Khan's got a handful of those thumbtacks. Oh, no. No, 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 not like this. Oh, oh my God, oh, my God, the thumbtacks in the mouth of PCO. No, oh. oh, dear God, oh, and PCO spinning and throwing the tacks into the eyes of Khan. Khan was trying to snap oh. the neck of PCO. Oh, God. Choke slam into the tax. Khan just vibrating in agony. Oh, dear Lord. Khan paralyzed in pain on the ground, covering, covered. No, 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 no. Thumbtacks all over Khan. Casey! 